Hey everyone, it's Erica from Nitty Gritty Science and Nitty Gritty Science Junior. And today we're talking models and how we're really gonna drive that concept home. And it has never been easier to make a model if you have not checked out Nitty Gritty Science 3D models. Check it out. All you are going to need are two sheets of paper. That is it, two. One for the base, one for the parts that you need to cut out. When the students cut out the base, look at this. All they have to do is fold, bring up the tab, glue that, and voila, that base is done. Add a little color, it is beautiful. Now you have two options for the base that, if you have not seen these before, one, just the base where they put in the pieces for the model, or two, if they need a little bit of assistance, I have the dotted lines where the pieces need to go, and then we also have it letter-coded if you want to go ahead and make a key with that. Now, when they put the base together and they color and the pieces, look how beautiful these turn out, and this can definitely be done within a class period. And it's perfect because it can be done so fast to do comparing and contrasting. For example, life cycles. I have a butterfly life cycle for complete metamorphosis versus a dragonfly for incomplete metamorphosis. If you are doing plant cells versus animal cells, check how easy that is and the students can put those together. Now, if you really want to have the students kind of understand all the pieces in each 3D model, I also offer templates to make a pocket for the back, just like this. And then they're gonna have a key that they can pull in and out all for the models. This is the Savannah biome. So they can just put the key together, match the letter codes that are on there and they have to go ahead and determine all the parts and label and you can add them them add the definition if that's what you want to do. So again, between the two stores, Nitty Gritty Science and Nitty Gritty Science Junior, we have tons of 3D models to check out. Very timely right now, pumpkins. Here you go, pumpkins. If you're doing the plant life cycle, why not bring in the pumpkins since we are just starting fall? Please go ahead and check those out again on nittygrittyscience.com or you can find both stores, Nitty Gritty Science Junior and Nitty Gritty Science on Teachers Pay Teachers as well. Again, my name is Erica. Take care.